All these electric SPACs like to make detailed projections about the future, something they couldn't do if they listed their stocks in a traditional way via IPOs. SEC doesn't like it. However, XL Fleet's a little different in that their near-term forecasts are much more substantial than what you see from most of these SPAC names. The company already has a 12-month rolling sales pipeline of more than $220 million of potential new business opportunities. Average order sizes have skyrocketed. XL Fleet's largest order this year was three times the size of the largest order in 2019. It's pretty good. Management believes their customers are going from a trial phase to a full adoption phase. XL Fleet's on track to make $21 million in revenue this year. And management believes they can grow to $75 million next year, $281 million in 2022, then $647 million in 2023 as heavy-duty models and the fully electric drivetrain scale up. Pretty aggressive, but get this. In 2024, they're talking about nearly $1.4 billion in sales. Even better, the company thinks it can deliver positive earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization by 2022. Guys, that's right around the corner. As usual, you've got to take these projections with a bit of grain of salt. But it's encouraging to see one of these electric SPACs forecast huge numbers in three or four years instead of seven, eight, nine, ten. I do have two concerns. First, Exo Fleet seems like they've got a great bridge solution, but I don't know what happens to them once the actual truck makers start producing their own fully electric vehicles. There are a bunch of startups working on this, and Ford's coming out with electric uh, model of F-150 they're building from scratch, Transit Van 2022. These are two of the Model XL fleet converts. Maybe the market's big enough for all of them. Maybe they start, they start selling their powertrains directly to the manufacturers. But either way, this is something you got to keep an eye on. Second worry, XL Fleet does a lot of business with state and local governments, which are totally broke right now because of the pandemic. It doesn't look like they'll be getting bailed out anytime soon. Of course, that problem should solve itself once enough people are vaccinated and the world goes back to normal. But it might make next year a lot tougher. Now, Pivotal Investment Corp. 2 closes on its merger with XL Fleet early next week. And it sure doesn't hurt that Pivotal is run by John Ledecky. He's a brilliant businessman with an incredible track record. You might know him as the guy who owns the Islanders. I know him as a friend from college. He was in the Harvard Crimson with me. I always thought he was a pretty good moneymaker. Based on what we know about the deal, Pivotal's $15 stock values the combined business at $2.1 billion. I got to tell you, if Excel Fleet can get even close to hitting its forecast for 2022 or 2023, and we get some clarity on that relationship with Ford and the F-150, this stock is, is cheap, darn cheap. Something like QuantumScape trades at 10 times its 2027 sales forecast. XL Fleet would be trading at 3.3 times its 2023 forecast. Bottom line, with Pivotal Investment trading at $15 going to the XL Fleet merger, I think this stock could be a steal. Compelling story, surprisingly undervalued stock, good management. But if it starts flying next week, I'm betting maybe you don't chase it too much past 20. But I like this one. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.